Hey everybody, happy Monday. It's December 5th, 2022. We're in Balboa Beach at the corner of Balboa Boulevard and 20th Street. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Uh, we're in front of this really cool bike paddle surf rentals and sales with a really awesome mural. And we're just off of Balboa Boulevard, folks. And we're next to the best bike shop in Orange County, according to those see weekly. Healthy Reef needs sharks. So we're right on the corner and we're gonna walk right to the boardwalk. So we're at a really convenient location here in Balboa Beach. The weather was phenomenal today. It was gorgeous. It was sunny. December 5th and we've got this incredible weather, people. It was gorgeous. Now just yesterday I went snowboarding in Bear Mountain and it was cold and the snow was phenomenal. But we're back at the beach so we'll post that video soon, um, but it, it's gonna take a while to edit that one. Anyways, we're here at the beach again. This is my, this is my stomping ground, Balboa Beach, Newport Beach, Laguna Beach. Now, if you haven't had time, I just posted a video of my Laguna Beach nightlife, and check it out. It's a 36 minute video of uh, different bars and venues in Laguna Beach at night. But here we are, we're just seconds away from Balboa Beach Boardwalk. Now, it's about four o'clock p.m., but it's still sunny. And uh, we're right next to the Ben Carlson Lifeguard headquarters here at Balboa Beach. Now, there's not too many people here on a Monday, which is kind of nice, you get all kinds of free parking here off street on 20th Street. Now, mind you, you get free parking after 6 p.m. on Balboa Beach Boulevard. So we're now walking on the boardwalk. We're passing the lifeguard tower and there's all kinds of Newport Beach lifeguard red trucks and police trucks and everything out here. But there's a nice little crowd out today, people. Now just ahead we have the silver painted Ben Carlson statue in Main Square. Now we are passing by a lot of uh, bike rental shops and things like that. And we got a breeze today. It's a little it's a little breezy and chilly, but I have a t-shirt on and shorts and I feel very good, brisk and cool. And so we've got a few people out. We've got some people headed up to the pier. A lot of people coming and going to the pier. Now they're bundled up. We've got people in jackets, people in sweaters. It's chilly. Got people walking dogs. I got Siberian Husky smelling that bush over there. Got a woman wearing a blanket. It's crazy. But we got some people out here at the beach. Not too many surfers today. It's Monday. The weekend was packed. But now, here we are, I just mentioned, we're right next to the Benjamin M. Carlson Lifeguard Headquarters, the city of Newport Beach, California. Now we're facing full sun, we're walking to the pier, as you can see, just to the right of the beach. And there's barely 10 people out at the beach today, on a Monday. But the weekends tend to be a lot busier, but it's nice if you want to come down here and avoid the tourist crowds and so it's real nice out right now all right so now just ahead we have the famous dive bar row just below in main square so we're just gonna do a little tour today Now typically this area you'll find a lot of like on the weekends they have the farmers market set up right here in Main Square. We've got usually a lot of musicians out here in Main Square right here in the center globe. The only person we have, the only visitor we have right now is a seagull sitting on the top. So he's comfortable.
why there's still a lot of people out walking their dogs and people on their bikes and we got people jogging and but just right to the left we have the Ben Carlson statue and look at that little chihuahua Thank you. there he is Ben Carlson famous lifeguard that unfortunately passed away trying to save somebody and 1982 through 2014 the statue was dedicated on July 6, 2016. Now, this is one of my favorite people watching places to go next to Huntington Beach because this area has an incredible pretty boardwalk with a lot of restaurants and bars and it's just really people friendly and a lot of people watching and they have most of the restaurants over here including this Mexican taco restaurant have a lot of like you know seating that faces the boardwalk so you can watch people as you eat. But the interesting thing is they have a very luxury hotel right here on the corner called 21 Oceanfront Restaurant. It's the Dorman's Bread and Breakfast Inn. And they have very luxurious rooms. And you can see the artwork outside. It shows there's something really elegant going on inside the Dorman's Inn. But we'll take a peek. Look at the statues in front. Very nice. And they have all kinds of uh, room styles. Bellagio. Alright, so back to the boulevard. There's a few tourists out here taking some selfies with the family. It's nice. Look at this statue. Isn't that nice? Now just to the right we've got the boardwalk situated off a parking lot and there's lots of uh there's two famous dive bars up here as we pass the 21 oceanfront restaurant they've got a very popular seaside donuts and bakery on the corner and down the alley here we have the blue beat food and bar and entertainment since 1912 so all kinds of history down here here's the Dory Deli and here's the tacos and burritos this place you can sit here in the window do your laptop and have you know tacos and salsa and chips and salsa and it's very nice I've eaten here before. It's very nice. I've sat right here with guys on his laptop. But this is still it's chilly today. And there you go. Where we are, we're here in front of the two famous dive bars in Balboa Beach. We've got the Beach Ball, Newport Beach, California Beach Ball. They have beer on tap and basically both of these bars open at 6 a.m. so the blackies by the sea tends to be really kind of divey but you'll never find this place empty there's all kinds of people in here it's a nice little place to come in and relax any time of the day any time of the year that's a cozy little crowd there right next to PJ Surf Rider now if you want good cookie cone ice creams, waffle cones, I noticed Handel's homemade ice cream since 1945 has waffle cones. So I just may finish this tour by getting myself an ice cream here. Because as you know from my videos, I usually finish my, my walking tours by having an, an ice cream and giving them a, a Yelp review. So here we go. Facing the beach people biking you can see people jogging
and you can see people bundled up for winter. It's cozy. It's uh, holidays are coming up. We just got through Thanksgiving, and now we're headed into Christmas here at the beach. But we'll come in here in a little bit. Walk just a little bit more. There's one more bar up here. That's usually overflowing with people. It's called Mutt Lynch's with open window seating and an obviously very historic little corner building here on the corner of 23rd Street. Now, we parked on 20th Street. We're just three blocks away where I parked. This is a quick little walk here, but there's all kinds of amazing architecture here. I mean, Look at the siding on this building. Very unique. And here we are in front of Mutledge's. Happy hour from 3 to 5 p.m. It's quiet today, but this bar is usually packed. And there you go. Now just ahead, all we have is a beach houses, beautiful beach houses nestled right off of this sidewalk here. We got people in the windows putting Christmas trees up at the Newport Beach Hotel. And that looks nice, very nice. She waved, friendly, friendly people here. That's one thing about California is the friendliest people in the, in the country here. You can't help but feeling friendly, people. We've got VO Rentals, summer and winter. If you want to come on down and rent off the beach here, this is a place to do it. And to the left, we've got the lifeguard. Right off the beach. And to make this video end nicely, we'll walk up to the ocean waves and walk through the sand here and pass the lifeguard number 24. And we'll catch some of these waves and get some of the views of these gorgeous beach houses. There you go. It's nice out. It's crisp. The air is flowing. I can feel the ocean mist in my lungs. It's fantastic, people. This is the place you want to live if you want to be next to the ocean air. That's for sure. And there's the pier to the left, where we just came from. Now that ocean looks cold today, so it's been chilly. We went snowboarding yesterday in Bear Mountain, so I'll post that video hopefully in the next few days. It's going to take a while to edit that one. We were there for four or five hours, so it wasn't one continuous video, but I've, it was my first time to Bear Mountain. I've never been. I've always wanted to go. Now, I didn't, I didn't snowboard, but my friends and my nephew snowboarded, and then they wanted to go bowling up there. Apparently, there's a full-fledged city up there with 6,000 residents in Bear Mountain. There we are. We're staring into the ocean now. The waves are coming in. We got the sun bright. There's nobody at the beach today but us. Look at these views. This is amazing. You gotta love it. And there's the Ben Carlson lifeguard tower to the left. We'll do a quick pan of where we just walked from. Thanks for joining Beach Gypsy on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more of my videos. So check out some of my previous videos of Huntington Beach Pier, Balboa Beach Pier, Bobel Peninsula, including the Fun Zone. Look at that ocean. Is that beautiful or what?
The waves are just rolling in. And we're going to head back to the boardwalk now. Thanks for watching Beach Gypsy on YouTube, everyone. I'll go ahead and leave the camera running as we walk back to the boardwalk and check out some more people. Everybody's still out biking and jogging. And it's going to be a phenomenal winter here at Balboa Beach. And the houses go on forever. They go all the way up the coast. So you can see why this is a very popular destination for biking and jogging and converging here at the pier. I love it here. It's fun to come out here and do some vlogging because there's never a dull moment. I end up talking to people, running into people, meeting fellow artists and generally nice people down here. Now, within minutes from here, we've got Balboa Peninsula up here, which the Ruby's Diner is at the end of that pier. Now, if you check out some of my videos, you'll see, see me have lunch at the end of the pier at Ruby's, where they've got some incredible milkshakes. Uh, so check that out, and uh, we'll have to do some more. Yelp reviews of some of the restaurants down here. So I hope you like the video. If you're coming out to Newport Beach or Huntington Beach or Balboa Beach, uh, make sure you leave a comment. I love to respond to people's comments or questions. Um, I'm learning the area. I've only been here for about a year, but I'm now living in Newport Beach. And the nice thing about Newport Beach and Huntington Beach is they're just all five minutes driving distance from everything. Now Laguna, Laguna Beach is a little bit more of a hike drive. You've really got to take Pacific Coast Highway and, and drive all the way out. But it's one of my favorite spots. I love the steps to the beach at Laguna Beach. And of course I like the quiet solitude that Laguna Beach offers. Not too much of a party scene. Usually they've got, you know, some very, very nice beer and wine bars with some piano entertainment or uh, nighttime musicians or singers in the bars. But uh, I would say Balboa Beach is known more for trendiness, as tourists, and more of like a college dive bar kind of feeling if you come down here. So, there you have it. It was a good walk. It felt great to get out and breathe some fresh air. I've been out all day, but I haven't filmed yet. Now my best time to film is usually from one to three in the winter because it gets a little cold. Sun goes down fast after 4.30 p.m. So, and also I got some good news for you if you're watching my Beach Gypsy on YouTube. I just started another travel channel called Dream Travel Love on YouTube. Now that channel is going to be a little different from this channel where I just basically focus on the walking without the narration. So if you're interested, check out my other channel called Dream Travel Love. Dream Travel Love on YouTube. So we're back in front of Handel's. I'm going to get an ice cream and shut the camera off and I will turn the camera on and let you know what I think. But we're just here back to the hub of everything on the corner of 22nd Street and Oceanfront. And I'll just let you know what my ice cream tastes like in just a second. Here we go. Hi, I'm just checking out your flavors here. Uh, I want definitely a waffle cone with a scoop of, let's see what you got. Do you have peppermint? Peppermint stick? Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. Ooh, with, same thing with chocolate chip. Yeah. No, I'll stick to the regular. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. I wish you had strawberry cheesecake, but this will work. This will work. That's a good one. This will work. Thank you. That'll work. Thank you. We've got Mariah Carey. She must be the queen of Christmas songs. I love it. Alrighty, everybody.
buddy. I just got the peppermint and walnut ball here, man. And that was oh. so good. So good. Just got green and red. It's just. It's like the flavor you need for Christmas. Thank you for watching. Handel's homemade ice cream since, <laughs> since 1945. Mm.